So what I'm going to do today is give you a science lesson on interactions among living things. Um, I'm just going to give you a little review of everything you need to know. Natural selection is process in which a species becomes better suited to its environment. So you could say individuals whose unique characteristics are best suited for their environment tend to survive and produce offspring. Offspring that inherit these characteristics also live to reproduce. Okay. Um, adaptation is characteristics that allow a species to live successfully in its environment. So, um, it's like individuals with characteristics that are poorly suited to the environment are less likely to survive and reproduce. Over time, poorly suited characteristics may disappear from the species, but sometimes, I don't know. Okay, so, and on to, okay, so, specializing can reproduce competition in a community like um, the three species of warble warbles in um, live in the same spruce forest habitat. They all eat insects that live in the spruce trees. How do these birds avoid competing for the limited insect supply? Each war warbler specializes which means specialize, in feeding in a certain part of a spruce tree. This is how the three species coexist. And here are the three species that um, live in the spruce trees in my science book. Okay, so on to more information. So, predation. In an interaction in which one organism kills and eats another is called predation. The organism that does the killing in this case would be the top. Like, for an example, in this case would be the tiger shark. And then it says the organism that does the killing is the predator. So the the tiger shark is the predator, and the organism that is killed is the prey, and in this case would be the albatross. Also, you could take um, a green tree python, and he would be the predator, and then his prey would be the mouse. They are involved in the predator-prey interaction. Okay, so is the following sentence true or false? If a prey population decreases, is the population of its predator probably will decrease as well? That is true. So, if a prey population decreases, the population of its predator probably will decrease as well because if the predator doesn't have prey to eat, then it won't have food and it will die. So, yeah. Also, um, there are a few defense strategies. Like, um, one that I like is um, the protective covering. And, um, An example of the protective covering is a pangolin, a small African mammal. Um, and when it, the pangolin is threatened, 
it will protect itself by rolling up into a scaly ball to, and it looks like a pine, pine cone without a face. I mean, with a face, sorry. Okay. Um, and there's other defensive strategies like mimicry when the caterpillar, an example of mimicry is a caterpillar pretending to be a snake or something. And another one is false coloring like um, on a butterfly's wings. Um, it might look like eyes watching you. All right. And then another one is warning coloring. The grasshopper has is this brightly colored can't hide. So what defense does it have against predators? Like many brightly colored animals, this grasshopper is poisonous. Its bright blue and yellow colors warn predators not to eat it. There's the guy right there. So his bright colors are warning colors which warn animal the predators not to eat it or they'll get poisoned and camouflage is just when you look like something in camouflage like a chameleon camouflages with anything it's on and um there's some insects that could be look like leaves so Okay, so on to the next subject, um, symbiosis. Symbiosis is a close relationship between two species what, what that benefits at least one of the species. The three types of symbiotic relationships are mutualism, commensalism, commensalism and parasitism. Parasitism. Okay, and then in mutualism, both species benefit, and in com commensalism, um, one species benefits, the other species is unharmed, and in para parasitism, um, one species benefits and the other species is harmed. Okay. Um, okay, and in the parasitic relationship, the organism that benefits is called a parasite, and the organism it lives on or in is called a host. So, the tick would be the parasite, and whatever it's feeding on would be the host, because it's feed on, feeding on the blood of certain animals and stuff. So that was a review on adapting to the environment. Thank you.